Okay, here we have the uh, frame of a uh, XDM, and uh, the XD is going to be the same with the exception of it won't will not have this bar here, it won't have this spring here, or this little lever, or the spring here. That's basically the difference. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that the uh, takedown lever doesn't go all the way through on the XDM where it does on the XD. Takedown's real similar. We're going to move this to the 11 o'clock position. I'm just going to pull it straight out and wiggle it. And then when I get to the second spot here, I'm just going to twist and wiggle and pull it out. So this is the uh, takedown lever. And then we have the uh, two pins that hold in the uh, the uh, locking block. So I have a little thing on my bench here because we do a lot of these. Um, I remove them right to left um, with an eighth, eighth inch pin uh, punch because there's a little clip inside of here that, will, that holds these in. So I'm just going to punch them through. You can punch them and pull them out if you want. I have a little box here that catches all the stuff that goes through there because we do these. There's there's a little uh, ridge here, and then there's a little clip inside of here that catches. That's why I go right to left. If You, you can do it the other way. It's just uh, more friction through there. Then we're going to take a uh, Cal. Can you zoom in here real quick? And... Uh, we're going to take the locking block out. You're going to notice, I'm going to take this out slowly. Um, there's a spring in here. And this this pushes down the uh, the uh, slide, slide release there. So that has a little pigtail that goes in this block. You can take it out. So we have our, our spring, our locking block. We'll pull out our uh, slide release. And then we have our little lever for the for the auto takedown mechanism and we pull our trigger out you can push it up and uh, on our trigger we have the trigger we have the uh, trigger spring and the trigger bar we're going to replace this with our part um, and replace this with our part so we have the trigger bar trigger spring trigger some of these are plastic now they do the same thing um, we're going to use our 8th uh, inch punch to push out this um, operation in here. But first on the XDM, because they have some extra springs, I use my nice Dawson Precision screwdriver to uh, push over the pin that retains the springs here. So then we take the pressure off of those. That makes life a little easier. Then take the, uh, actually this is a 16th, push that pin all the way out. It'll fall down, and we'll drop it on the floor there. Um, then we can just go ahead and pull these springs out. You'll notice we have our our uh, sear spring, and then we have this little spring here. That spring, you if you want to disable the system, you'll take that spring off. But you want to just verify the the orientation of that. I'll bring that up to. Um, then what I do is I push the sear out the bottom and then you can pull the little lever off. If you want to disable the auto takedown system, which I do all the time, um, you'll just push this pin out far enough so that it doesn't push this the grip safety pin out far enough um, so that you can remove this little lever and this little spring, and then it'll operate just like an XD. If you have an XD, you won't have these pieces in here, I think you're better off anyway. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to show you our parts and what you'll need to do. This is our, our uh, sear. Um, the one thing you wanna do before you put it in is I'll grab my uh, pin I dropped here. And you just wanna make sure that it moves freely. If it moves freely, you're good to go. If it's a little tight, um, you can take this pin, chuck it up in a uh, in a uh, drill, and then use some like 600 grit sandpaper. Just make it a little bit um, looser. You want this to be fairly snug, but not binding. That way, it resets properly. Like you can see, it's it's very uh, well fit. We ream these out before we send them out, so you should be pretty dang close when you get it. Um, to put this back together with our sear, you're going to take this um, <clears throat> striker safety lever, and you have to pull it back. You'll wiggle it in, and you'll find that it 
clicks in a notch. Once you have it there, just use your index finger to hold it. And then again, from the bottom, I take my finger, um, push it in and it'll slide right into place. So once that's back up in there, then again, I can use that 1 16th inch punch to sort of line everything up. Um, you know, there's that spring presser, so I can push it all the way through. Now it's all lined up. We're ready to go. You can see that just I'm just holding it there. I'm going to grab the the uh, pin now for the uh, sear. I'm going to push it back through. Yeah, you know, I'll have to wiggle it for the first one and then wiggle it through the second one. You'll see it comes through. Then I just push it back out so it's flush, so I can put the springs in, and then I back the uh, punch out. Let's hold it at an angle. We'll drop our. Uh, springs back in. Again, if you don't want to use the takedown system, just get rid of that little spring that pushes the uh, lever down. And then we'll push this whole assembly back together. I use a screwdriver to uh, seat it all the way, make sure that it's smooth on both sides. The uh, spring will go over the safety lever. We're going to push, push these springs. You can push them down one at a time, two at a time. Um, I generally push them down one at a time and that way the second spring is a little more flexible I can just get it over there um, and w when you do that we'll just replace that with our our spring that'll be a little bit lighter give you a little bit less trigger pull um, removing this other spring gives you a little lighter trigger pull too because it pulls down this lever um, 